Good evening, YouTubers. Facebooks. Vampire Freaks. Snapchatters. Whatever social media networking website out there for that. Yours truly, Valley Telecommunications. AKA the cost of Bay Mountain Secret Area. Nobody's on my side with this horse shit. It's all one sided. They only let me listen to the thief. They want to li only listen to the future criminal. They only listen to shit I gotta say. You know, I see all these blogs and like little Snapchats and whatnot. All your merchandise. I feel like that's being put in my face. It's not right. That's like me waving a thousand dollars in front of a homeless person's face on the street it's not right it really isn't and again i don't want you guys to feel sorry for me i really don't care you know i really don't fucking give a fuck but like i said i feel like this is a one-side situation i only listen to shit i gotta say every time i try to speak my mind the person gets they get their spouse get a chance to speak up for them. Their friend get a chance to speak up for them. Their dad, whatever the case may be. Or every time I try to speak my mind, it's, oh, I'm starting drama and I hate that fucking word. If I hear the next person say drama, I'm going to hit them in the fucking face. I hate that word. I can't stand it. I get accused of causing drama all the time every time I bring something up. Oh, this conversation is going nowhere. I talk about the same thing over and over. You're getting sick of me bitching. Well, you're getting sick of me bitching. Start treating me with respect. And I, I feel that I can't say nothing. Because every time I say something, I get torn apart by someone's wife. Or someone's husband. Or someone's friend. Or someone's girlfriend. Do your research. Do your homework a little better. This was a 31-year-old that done wrong. Trying to help somebody out. Trying to help a kid out. I didn't contribute to nobody to steal, shoplift, where the fuck you want to call it, you know. I thought I could trust somebody. And, you know, no one gives a fuck about nobody in this world. I keep telling people that. Pay attention to who your real friends are. Your best friend is could be a, you can have one friend your whole life, and that'll be all you need. Actually, to be honest with you, the only friend you'll ever have is your mother, no one else. Mom ain't going to stab you in the back. Your mom ain't going to tell you, you know, no. Your mom's going to always say yes to you. Now, this might be, this is going to be the last video I make about the situation. 
A lot of you getting tired of hearing me bitch. Which is fine with me. This is the last video I'm gonna make. I just decided to make a part for it. I felt like I didn't put enough out there like I wanted to. A lot of this fall on dead ears. I don't care. Comment, share, like, whatever. But I'm gonna speak my mind. I can't speak my mind at bad the place. I get calls I get accused of causing drama. And it's and if not that it's more rumors going around, you know. As far as this Randy Earl, I don't know how you got what I was saying. But uh I said those things because I was pissed off. You don't go to someone's page and talk shit on their page and don't expect them to say nothing back to you. I'm not a Christian. I'm not going to ever go back to being a Christian. And as I said before, you're stupid. You're a dumb little girl. You don't know about life. You don't know nothing about the left hand path. Nothing. I've seen demons before. I've seen ghosts before. All right. I didn't say the whole rose out to get you. I'm not sitting in my house in the corner with a can of beans and a shotgun rifle in my right hand. I'm not an agoraphobic. Most stupidest people on the planet. I don't agoraphobic. It's an excuse for people not to leave their house because they're making their own little delusional mind that something or someone's out to get them. I'm only out to get people who are out to get me. I mean, if I'm outside, dumbass. See this? I'm outside. Now, if I thought people was out to get me, I would never leave the house. I'm not home anyway. I'm at. I'm in a secret location. I choose not to tell you people that. Because then you'll have a reason to talk more shit. I made a lot of vlogs going on. This will be the last one I made. Stealing is illegal. I can't stress that enough. It's illegal. It's legal. It's fucking illegal. I don't care who you are. Anybody that watched this video. Stealing is illegal. It's fine when you're 16 years old. You get slapped on the wrist. When you're about 20, you're going to go to prison. There ain't going to be a slap on the wrist. It's going to be those handcuffs on your fucking wrist. Like I said, I feel that this is all one-sided. And I, I left myself as an open target. Because now people are going to run me down about my religion. I've been told off about how wrong I am and have I ever thought about bringing positive energy in the world? No, I, I'm not, because that's not my job. I'm not a preacher. I'm not an evangelist. I'm not a Mormon. Other people that disgust me, that disgusts me. When you people sit your asses up here every day and act like you're Mr. and Mrs. Goody fucking two-shoes, you're out doing wrong yourself. Sitting here groping girls and trying to get with them, and you're married and all this shit. You girls are dumb because you go and you play along with the guy that's married, knowing he's wrong, grabbing on your, your ass, and all you do is say, stop, stop, that's not right. You know, you should be preaching to him. Go throw a leather Bible at him, not me. Say, I'm a good, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. Exactly. So don't preach to a nice guy. You cannot teach an old dog the trick. And I'm that old dog. You're just wasting your time. If you think I'm going to change myself, change anything my livelihood sexuality you got it sadly mistaken buddy because i'm not going to do that i'm not going to stoop to your level all this pretend shit i'm not a pretend witch i showed you my things in other video i'm not a pretend witch this is not stuff that a pretend witch would wear around your neck all right this is not some bone I bought online. This is a bone that I picked up somewhere in Michigan on the side of the road. It's a deceased cat. That's the leg bone, okay? So all this shit, I can pretend to be a witch. I'm not pretending. Like my friend Queen Diane said, she's a witch too. You are either are or you're not a witch. There's no pretending. It's funny how you guys say I'm pretending witch when you guys needed my help. Your relationship was going a little sour to the south. You all come crying to me, telling me to do spells for you. I wasn't a pretend witch then, was I? Keep that in mind. I feel that I said enough, but I feel that I'm not being respected. This is horse shit. You guys don't want to let horse shit blow in the wind. Every time I bring something up, I try to redeem myself. I'm wrong for it. It's not a thankful job. 
No, yes, it is. You got half these motherfuckers that you hire, and they sit here and play and goof, goof off, and you're paying them so many dollars an hour, you know? But no one says nothing. You go right back to the same fucked up fake people that didn't do shit for you. Used you, ate your food, ran your water bill up. Donovan came around when your birthday was up. Donovan came around and asked you how your daughter or your son was doing. That's what I done. This pretend witch, this monster, this devil. It's only you stupid ass grown ups that don't want to, and I said it again, pull your head out your ass and pay attention to what's going on. But you let the same motherfuckers back in the park that didn't do shit for you. You protect and want to cover up the shit that these other people do to you. See, that's why I said, that's why I brought the race card into it. It don't seem right. It's kind of flaky when you let, maybe you're not, you know, that's your thing. I'm not racist. I got white people in my family. Are you kidding me? I'm not racist. I'm just fed up. I feel that this is a one-sided story. And I was listening to nothing I have to say. Soon enough, it's going to come around and bite you in the ass. It's not a threat. I'm not taking blows or shot at nobody. What's wrong is wrong. What's right is right. That's the logic to that. And again, I repeat, what's wrong is wrong. What's right is right. You're letting the same people come into your life that didn't do shit for you. You're riding your bikes, whatever. You go right back to the same motherfucker that you're going to cry about. He stole my money. He used us. You go right back and do the same shit and with them. Nothing ever happened. And that's dust in the wind, what they've done you in the past. But me, I guess I fucked up a little more. I'm not a pretend witch, bro. Get that out of your head. I'm not a pretend witch. If I'm a pretend witch, then don't ask me to do another goddamn spell for you. Because a lot of you motherfuckers, you dated witches yourself. And you're going to call me a pretend witch. I'm not the only one that practices the left-hand path. There's a lot of people out there that practice it. I'm not the only one. I'm not a pretend witch. I can't stress it enough. If you never saw something, you don't believe it, that's your deal. But don't ever in your fucking life ask me a damn another fucking favor to do with any kind of magic or spells, curses, what have you, since I'm a pretend witch. You guys got a lot of learning to do. You know, pull your head out your ass. I said it again. You're going to run back to the same motherfuckers and do shit for you. Excuse the cussing. This is what I do. This is explicit shit. I'm telling you guys that before I make these YouTube videos. Feel that this is a one-sided story, not it. I, it doesn't matter. I, every day I go to Facebook, there's new pictures. All this shit you're throwing in my face, it's not right. I'll be homeless pretty soon, like I made another few vlogs. And so none of you don't give a fuck about me anyways, it's obvious. But uh, and I got to limit myself. Because once my parents move, I'm not going to have anybody. I'm not making a sob story. Oh, sorry for me and this and that and other. Uh, that's all I got to say. It's fucked up. Stealing is illegal. I've tried to redeem myself. It didn't work. Went through one ear and out someone's ass. They don't want to listen to what I got to say. My birthday's coming up. You know, that's going to be fucked up. I got nowhere to spend my birthday now. You know. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I'm done. It's the last vlog making the situation. Inbox me. Comment me up. Subscribe. Like. You know, I'm going to educate you guys as much as I can what I'm about. Don't believe all that horse shit you say, all the rumors. Don't believe the hype. This is me in the flesh, okay? I'm not a druggie. I'm not a mental case, you know? Am I in a mental asylum? No. I'm in a fucking neighborhood, dumbass, you know? So, uh, you know, I'm a human being. I'm a witch, costume maker. Like my page of the Oracle Costume Maker Service on Facebook. Like my other page. I got my own little occult going. The Wanting Moon Occult. Help people who want to learn about the left hand path, you want some dolls made, you know, you want whatever, candles, whatever. I I'm your boy, hit me up. I'm a witch and practice with you like myself. So it shall be, so I'm to be. Remember, stay you. In vitro. This is Donald Kelly signing off, aka Caught the Case. But the universe sign. Right. Wrong is wrong. The logic is there. Truth is out there. The world is not ending. People are changing. People are getting more evil towards each other. People are getting kinder towards each other, one another. But the world is not ending. Don't believe the hype. Always fight the good fight.